Hello everyone here at OS Reviews. So it seems that the popular Western media has finally began to notice the Amazfit BIP as an excellent value, and I've been seeing many titles and reviews that have just popped up floating around on the internet, when this is really a smartwatch that has already come out many months ago. But it still, again, remains an excellent value if you just want a basic smartwatch because it's only $70, it's a fraction of the price of the $300 Apple Watch, for instance, and it has one of the longest batteries that you'll find out of any smartwatch. It's using this e paper display, not to be confused with e-ink, but it's able to last you about one month before you need to recharge it again. So a few uh, months ago, actually, we did a video on official accessories for the Amazfit BIP that were brought to you by Xiaomi, including a lot of these straps, which are definitely different from what you, the ones that you'll find out of the box. Whether it's a more colorful look, whether it's customized or leather, you can change the look of the watch. Uh, today we're taking a look at some wraps for the display. These wraps are actually brought by a company called Gadget Wraps, and they're pretty new. They're based out of Washington, D.C. They also make it for a few other smartwatches in addition to the uh, Amazon Alexa speakers, Google Home speakers, and that seems to be the extent at the moment. So unlike some of the larger competitors, you won't find it for every single smartphone under the sun, but if you're looking at it for just wearables, then they do seem to have quite a few offerings popping up. And I believe this is actually the first uh, selection of wraps on the market in the US at least, you can find for the BIP. So inside of this envelope, it seems like Gadget Wraps have sent over a few of their current selection of various screen protectors and films and wraps for the Amazfit BIP. So this is what the packaging looks like. It says Gadget Wraps skins and protectors for your coolest gadgets. And we also have, it looks like a few clear protectors on here just for the display. Now the display of the Amazfit BIP is it claims to be made out of a crystal that is scratch resistant, but I've been wearing this daily for the past few months and you can tell that there have been a few scratches that have been attracted onto the surface here. So it's definitely not going to be you know, completely free of scratches if you just use it casually on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why a screen protector can be a good idea. So here's everything laid out and organized a little bit. So we have a brushed skin, which has the kind of aluminum-like texture to it, as you can see. And the cutouts for the display itself is actually just nothing at all. So it basically just fits around the frame of the watch. And for the center portion, it comes with a separate little card, which has a small screen protector that has, that has been cut out in the shape of the display, which you can then peel off and then put into the center for protecting. So one protector and one of these is $10 regardless of what option you choose. And they have 20 to 30 different patterns, all of them in different colors that you can select from. That may seem a little bit expensive at first, but these actually have lifetime warranty uh, on them. So if for whatever reason, under daily use, they start to peel off or gets damaged, you simply need to send them an email and a photo and they will send you a new one immediately. So that's actually a pretty interesting kind of business model. And here's their website just as a quick reference point. We can see all of these brush skins, carbon fiber skins, as well as design skins, camouflage, elephant skins, again, all in $10. Or I can get a, a clear screen protector like the one in here, which uh, is a pack of two for $10. So this one is a little bit cheaper if you just want it to be completely invisible. So continuing our quick look at the wraps that we have in front of us. Again, we have this brushed one, which is bluish. Uh, there's also a red version of the same kind of brushed metal texture, but they are cut from uh, vinyl. So for instance, this one here is the carbon fiber, and this one is actually made out of the real material, uh, which is a little bit more durable. So in my opinion, if you're looking for the one with the most resistance and the, the one that will probably last you the longest from protection, since a really thick layer of carbon fiber is supposedly good enough to be bulletproof, obviously this is still too thin for that, but you also find this on other uh, car dashboards, things like that, more luxurious products. So if you want something that's a bit more durable and classy, I would personally uh, go for this particular look. And there's even a white carbon fiber, so that's a very interesting look, definitely different, but it may make the bezels of your device or your watch to look a little thicker, uh, something to keep in mind if you're picking out your ideal colors. The back here is just using 3M tape, which makes it easy to peel off. Now these three, which are here, are basically the kind of more freestyle versions, which are more customizable. So there's kind of like a paint splatter, there's also a bluish kind of squiggle and a black squiggle, which uh, actually matches the current watch band that we have here pretty well. Depending on the watch band and the style of clothing that I'm wearing, I think that these five are going to be my favorite uh, decals and wraps to try out. Uh, something to keep in mind though is that these are not meant to be repeelable or re reusable. So you should peel them on and they should stay on. 
So here's one wrap applied, and you can see that it fits in actually very well. It feels quite smooth as well. So when you're gliding and using the touchscreen, everything still is quite responsive without any problems with the functionality, and it feels like it's just part of the design. Now, one thing I have to point out though is for some of the watch faces on the Amazfit Bip, you have rounded corners, but of course with the particular uh, wrap here, it has sharp corners. And so depending on the watch face that you choose, it may not give you the best overall look, even though the screen, yes, is completely square. So you probably would want to opt for a different style of watch face if you want to make it look as seamless as possible. And a demo of it being on the wrist, you can see it's very stylish and definitely looks different. So people will probably ask you, you know, what smartwatch are you wearing? Because it looks nothing like the original. Now, the one thing that makes application a little difficult on the wraps here is because there is nothing in the center, it's just a cutout, these arms on the left and the right are very slim. So as you're pulling it along and trying to fit it over, it's easier to move around accidentally. So you have to be quite still when applying it as opposed to a completely flat and larger surface. And here's the white carbon fiber, which does have a very distinctive look since the rest of the watch is completely black. It does make the product more contrasty, especially if you look at it from the sides, almost more like a designer watch. I'd also change the watch face into more of a block style so it fits the block edges, the sharp edges a little bit better. And a quick demo of what it looks like as you wear it. And I'll point out that the back of the wrap looks like this. So it has a slightly different texture as well. It's not just completely the same and finally, last but certainly not least, it's the traditional black carbon fiber, which I still think is the classiest out of the bunch, and my personal favorite, which I'll just leave on here for the rest of the time. I've also applied the square screen protector under the center here, and everything is still quite responsive and easy to use. So as a quick summary of pros and cons, I would start with saying that overall they do have quite a few customizable patterns that definitely changes the look of the watch while protecting it since the display here is definitely not scratch resistant if you are wearing it in the day to day. Uh, with that being said, uh, some potential cons would be the fact that the price $10 can seem a little bit expensive for something that covers not a huge area. Other observations specific to the Mace Fit Bip is that it's already a very low cost tracker. So on one hand, you may be thinking, well, if I scratch it, it's not a huge deal. I can probably just buy another one. But on the other hand, because it is so low cost, you still have extra cash on your hands to buy accessories like bands and faces to really customize it to your liking. And if that's what you're thinking, then something like this would definitely be worthwhile to take a closer look at. So you can check out more details in the links down below. Also for gadget wraps as a whole, you can check out their website. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's a closer look at wraps and skins for the Amazfit Bip.